Yo, what is going on guys? It's Bruin Steel here and this is another post game video for my Pittsburgh Steelers for week 8 and it's going to be a long ass season guys and it's not looking good. The Pittsburgh Steelers traveled to Philadelphia to take on the Eagles this past on Sunday. Um I'm re recording this on a Tuesday um afternoon. Um it's going to be a long ass season. The Pittsburgh Steelers get absolutely demolished, 35 to 13. It it it, just, it was just absolute pathetic, man. 35 to 13, and the Steelers have dropped down to two and six on the season going into the bye week. Um, I don't know what to say. And the streak continues in Philadelphia. Losing season uh, streak continues. And we still have not won in Philadelphia since 1965, wherever it is. It's 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 awful, man. It, it really is. I, I I don't know what I can say about this game. Like I expected this. I knew Philadelphia was gonna come out for fire on fire. I knew the Eagles. They were coming off of a bye too. They were coming off of a bye. And Philadelphia Eagles with this win are 7-0. Oh my god. Um, they could be the real deal this year. It just... Just horrible performance overall. Look, the it just... A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown killed us in this game with three touchdowns. One of them was the opening drive. The defense just was god-awful today. Um, AJ Brown was torching our defense. It just, we couldn't get anything going on defense. And, you know, Kenny Pickett got sacked, what, six times? I didn't really watch the game because I was at work. But, um, for once, we actually did a trickery play with Chase Claypool. Kenny Pickett kind of gave it to, uh, uh, Chase Claypool. Chase Claypool threw a touchdown pass to Derek Watt. I'm like, wow, okay. This was right at, this was on our opening drive. Philadelphia Eagles scored on their opening drive with A.J. Brown. It just, Witherspoon got absolutely demolished out there. Um, you know, it, it just, it's just unbelievable what you can see. And I don't even want to talk about Najee Harris. Najee Harris is just, I don't know. There, he just couldn't do anything. It carries 32 yards. It just, um, and then it's just, I don't know. There was just no wrong game with the Najee Harris situation. And it, with the Najee Harris situation, there was rumors that, because I saw um, Steel's Maidens, um, that's not really his YouTube name, I saw him talking about, like, oh, we should look at um, trade options for Najee Harris because the, he just not looking good first couple of weeks of the season. Um, you know, the Steelers, this is a fact, the Steelers have not scored over 20 points. It, it's just pathetic. Um, Kenny Pickett had a one interception, and that's just that. Um, um, you know, Najee Harris, you know, that it just, the amount of time that there's holes in this offensive line, the offensive line giving holes to Najee, he just can't find those holes and make big plays. I mean, there's some great play. He made some, he made good plays, like in the past, but just this season, it's just, it's not there. He can't find the open holes. The open holes are there. He just doesn't see it and then just can't gain any yards. You know, and it just, it's just so sad, you know. It's, I mean, and you didn't, and you don't target George Pickens in this game. I don't understand that. Um, and then it just, it was it's got an aw awful defense overall. The play calling by Matt Canada. It just I want Matt Canada out of Pittsburgh. I can't stand this dude anymore. Like holy shit, every fucking week with this guy. I want Matt Canada gone. You know, it, it, it's to think that we fired. Um, you know, it. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. This was just, it, it was just absolute 
horrible. It just, I want Matt Canada out of Pittsburgh, man. This guy can't run our offensive. This guy can't run offense. It just, and Mike Tomlin is to blame for this loss. It is the defense just couldn't, um, it couldn't do shit. Can't do shit at all. Um, and Chris Boswell was not in this game, so we bring in a guy we signed, Nick Zetpa, whatever his name. He got his first, um, he had seven points. He had uh, two field goals. He had his first ever NFL, um, um, field goal attempts was successful. Um, fucking God, man. You know, it, it just, it's horrible. You know, this team is just in the rebuild situation. It just, you know, one for sure, the fact that we fired Randy Fittner. Oh, get me wrong. Randy Fittner was horrible. I'm glad we got rid of him, and I thought we were going to get a fresh start with Matt Canada. But what do you know? This guy goes out there and be become one of the worst offensive coordinators probably in the league. I want him gone. You know, there's so... There's trades going on right now. Get rid of Matt Canada. This guy can't run a successful offense. This guy, this team is just so undisciplined. And it's just... I don't know what to say, man. It really is. Jalen Hurts just torched us. Four touchdowns. A.J. Brown torched us. Zach Pascal had one touchdown. Torched us. Miles Sanders had a touchdown. Just torched us. The fact that this team hasn't won in Philadelphia since, what, I don't know, 1965, whatever, it, it's just pretty pathetic. Um, and look, I say this twice. I saw the highlights. Kenny Pickett didn't really play that good. And he's just, look, people are going to say, oh, I'm not going to bash Kenny Pickett. He's just a rookie, you know. You know, look what happened um, when we had a rookie, Ben Rosberger, you know. We had a magical season. Everyone thought it would be the same thing. You really think that's going to be the same shit with Kenny Pickett? No, because Mike Tomlin doesn't do shit. He's, look, he, it's great that people say, oh, well, he had a winning season. He never had a losing season. Well, this is about to be a losing season. And, you know, people are going to say, oh, Kenny Pickett, some of the interceptions and throws that he makes, he overthrows it, shit like that. All the garbage shit throws that Kenny Pickett throws, people are going to like, oh, well, just keep, they can make the mistake, learn from his mistake. It's only a rookie mistake, you know, and that's the way you, perf um, you know, that's the way that you have to have the your rookie quarterback um learn the game, learn the ropes, you know. But it's whatever. Um, but absolute pathetic game. Um, we're going into the bye week, and that's just that. I have nothing else to say about this game, Chase Claypool. It just, we had, we had a great drive. Our first opening drive, we got a touchdown. It was a Chase Claypool pass to Derek Watt. And it just, after that, this team was nowhere to be found. After that, we just, we just kicked two field goals. And we just undisciplined. We could have gotten more touchdowns, but it just, Mike Tomlin just, doesn't want to give up, right? But he does. Two and six on the season. It, it just absolute pathetic. It really is. And God knows. Um, I don't even know if we can beat the Saints. That's the game that DJ Watt's gonna come back. Hopefully, hopefully he's gonna be healthy. Um, but I, I don't know, bro. This team. It's absolutely pathetic. I, I just don't know what I can say about this team. Worst team in the AFC. And that's it, guys. I, I have nothing else to say. Matt Kenda, get your ass out of fucking Pittsburgh. I don't want your fucking pathetic ass in this, the, on this team. Like, get the fuck out of here. I am sick of this dude. I am sick of you, Matt Kenda. Get your shit together. Pathetic. It's absolutely. I don't know what I can like say. This, this team is absolutely.
pathetic. They're just a bunch of shitheads out there not playing fucking football. But anyways, I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Two and six, guys. Can you believe that? And we have a buy this coming week. I don't know if I'm going to fucking do a video. Um, but anyways, I'm getting out of here, guys. I have nothing else to say about this game. Anyways, I peace. Fuck off. Freaking piece of shit, Steelers. Matt Canada, get the fuck out of here.